Anna is live on location for our virtual food drive. Hey, Anna. Hey, good morning. We are at the Greater Chicago Food Depository. You can see the non-perishables canned goods that we always collect during our food drive. This time we are asking for monetary donations if you can. Just think about it. One dollar can help provide three meals. And the need is incredible right now because of what's going on in our community. The Greater Chicago Food Depository uh, covers the Cook County area and they provide free food to food pantries like the one you're going to see now. Every Friday starts the same way for volunteers at the Hattie B. Williams Food Pantry in Oak Forest. Father, thank you for every person not only here standing in the circle, but Lord, thank you for the people that are here and that are continuing to come. A prayer of thanks and the hope to feed everyone who drives through their church. We have very little food, but we're going to feed as many people as we can. The Hattie B. Williams Food Pantry has been serving the entire South Suburban Cook County community for 28 years. Just like many food pantries in our area, it has seen an exponential increase in numbers of people they serve since the pandemic crisis began last March. 40, 50 people, maybe 60 on a good day, and now we're seeing like over 100, 120 people almost every week. Annie Hill, who started running the pantry after her sister and founder, Hattie B. Williams, passed away in 2014, says they've had to get more food to meet the demand, and that's where their partnership with the Greater Chicago Food Depository has been so important. They have been amazing because we haven't had to pay for anything since March. So whatever is on the, the menu, whatever we order, we just get it uh, if it's still available. So we have been able to get extra food, extra fruits and vegetables uh, for our clients. So they are simply amazing. Amazing is what the people call the food pantry that has been there for them every Friday during the toughest times. It helps us out a lot. It sure does. When you're on a fixed income, yes. and this is the most friendliest people, the best pantry I've ever been to. It's so great to have the pantry. Mm -hmm. um, I can't say much, but it's always great to have the pantry here. And we never turn anybody away, even though they may not be in the south suburbs because the need is so great now. So we just make sure everybody gets something. Clients have been coming from outside the area served by the Hattie B. Williams Pantry, but Annie and her team of volunteers are determined to help everyone. Annie says that's what her sister Hattie would have liked. Hattie is just running around heaven, just ex excited about what we're doing to bless families in the community because her heart was for people and she loved to feed people. She would be very pleased with us carrying on her legacy. I just wanted to explain Larry and Robin then when Annie was talking about we're going to run out of food. It's not that the food depository is not giving them enough food. It's that every week they don't know how many people are going to show up. So there are so many that they end up running out of food, but I saw them trying to put together as much as they could for everyone who showed up. And they're able to do that also because of their collaboration with the Greater Chicago Food Depository, which they have had since the food pantry was founded by Hattie B. Williams. Um, and so they really value that these guys have stepped up to the plate. And that's what we're asking you today, to help the Greater Chicago Food Depository continue to meet the needs of our community in Cook County. And um, you can do it by donating right now to uh, WGN TV slash food pantry, or you can text the letters WGN to 41444. WGN to 41444. Anything you can give the Greater Chicago Food Depository would be greatly appreciated. We'll have more, but for now, we're going to send it back to Mike.